You're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Yesterday, we spoke about the circle of success, five people that we all need in our lives on our goal achievement journey. Today, we're kicking off a new series, Leave It Better. In this six-part series, we'll be looking at effective ways to make impactful improvements that will help shape your legacy. Today, we're building on the five key people in your success circle that we spoke about yesterday by focusing our lens on mentors and mentoring. First, we'll look at mentors, what they really are, and how to connect with the right set of champions to add to your winner's circle. Let's start from the very beginning. Mentorship, defined as a relationship in which a more experienced or knowledgeable person helps to guide a less experienced or knowledgeable person. It has a long and rich history dating back to ancient Greece. The word mentor itself comes from Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey, in which mentor is a trusted friend of Odysseus who guides and advises Odysseus' son while Odysseus is away at war. This early example of mentorship highlights the importance of having a wise and experienced mentor to provide guidance and support in times of need. Throughout history, mentorship has played a crucial role in the development of individuals and society. In ancient Rome, for example, the concept of mentorship was formalized through the practice of apprenticeship in which skilled craftsmen would mentor trainees and pass on their knowledge and expertise. This mentorship model was essential for the transmission of knowledge and skills from one generation to the next, ensuring the continuity of craftsmanship and excellence in various trades. Boy, we need this now, don't we? (laughs) Absolutely. We probably would not have Leonardo da Vinci, Shakespeare, or even Mozart for that matter without mentorship. In more recent history, mentorship has evolved to encompass a wide range of fields and industries from business and academia to sports and the arts. Today's mentorship relationship tends to be less formal, but nonetheless recognized as a powerful tool for personal and professional development which many successful individuals attribute to their achievements because of the guidance and support of a mentor. In the business world, for example, mentorship is commonly used to help a founder or entrepreneur get to the next level. The role of the mentor has also expanded to include coaching and counseling, with mentors providing not only technical expertise, but also emotional support and encouragement. In this way, mentorship has come to be seen as a holistic and transformative practice that can help us realize our full potential and achieve our goals. Here are eight questions you should ask yourself before you start looking for your set of mentors. Number one, What specific goals or challenges are you facing that you need guidance on? Number two, what qualities or expertise am I looking for in a mentor? Number three, how much time and availability do I need from a mentor? Number four, what type of communication style works best for me when seeking guidance? Number five, Am I open to receiving constructive feedback and advice from a mentor? That is so hugely important because it defeats the entire purpose if you're not open to that. And I know that does, you know, it does require a a bit of vulnerability, but it is worth it because you'll get the information and advice and counsel that you need. Number six, how will I measure the success of the mentoring relationship? Number seven, are there any potential conflicts of interest that could arise with a potential mentor? That's a big one for me as a personal development coach. If I'm coaching someone who's at an executive level at a company, it makes it uncomfortable to mentor someone who they may be managing. 
So that's why that's really important. And then lastly, number eight, what resources or support do I need from a mentor to help me achieve my goals? The answers to those questions, all eight, will serve as a foundation for your mentorship relationship. It provides a clear objective and a way forward for mentors that you choose to be part of your team. Now, once you have the answers to these questions, you can start looking for a mentor. How do you identify the right mentors? Here are five suggestions. Networking events. Attending industry-specific networking events can be a great way to meet potential mentors who have experience and expertise in your field. These events provide a valuable opportunity to connect with professionals who can offer guidance, advice, and support as you navigate your career path. By engaging in conversations and building relationships with seasoned professionals at networking events, you can gain valuable insights, learn from their experience, and potentially find a mentor who can help you grow and succeed in your chosen field. Additionally, networking events can also help you expand your professional network, opening a new opportunity for collaboration, partnership, and career advancements. Overall, attending industry-specific networking events can be a powerful tool for personal and professional development. Give it a shot. There's so many of these events too. Number two, online platforms. Utilize online platforms such as LinkedIn to connect with professionals who've achieved success in your desired career path. Reach out to them for advice and guidance. Networking on online platforms like LinkedIn can be a powerful tool for career advancement. By connecting with professionals who have already achieved success in your desired field, you can gain valuable insights, advice, and mentorship that can help you navigate your own career path more effectively. Don't be afraid to reach out and introduce yourself. Many people are willing to share their knowledge and experiences with those who are eager to learn and grow. Building a strong network of connections through online platforms can open a new opportunity to provide valuable support and help you stay informed about industry trends because you can absolutely know everything. Take advantage of those resources to expand your professional network and take your career to the next level. Absolutely, go for it. Number three, alumni networks. Reach out to alumni from your college or university, even your high school, who are working in your desired field or a field that you're very interested in. Alumni from your alma mater have already gone through the same educational experience and have likely pursued careers in the same field as you. The shared background can make them a valuable resource for advice, guidance, and networking opportunities. They can provide insights into the industry, offer business advice, and even help connect you with other key influencers in your field and help broaden your contacts. Sometimes all you need to level up is the right introduction. Alumni may be more willing to help fellow graduates from their alma mater, making it easier to establish a mentor-mentee relationship. By reaching out to alumni in your field, you can tap into a wealth of knowledge and experience that can help you get to the next level successfully, and you're tapping into their network of people as well, so all good things. Number four, industry associations. I love these. Joining industry associations related to your field can provide opportunities to meet experienced professionals who can offer valuable insights and guidance. These associations often host networking events, conferences, and workshops where you can connect with industry leaders and learn about their latest trends and developments in your field. By becoming an active member of an industry association, you can also gain access to resources such as job boards, training programs, and mentorship opportunities that can help advance your career. Additionally, being part of an industry association can enhance your credibility and visibility within your industry. Opening up new doors for professional growth and advancement is usually what industry associations are able to do. Lastly, referrals. 
ask colleagues, friends, or family members if they know of any professionals who would make good mentors for you. Personal referrals can often lead to strong mentorship relationships based on mutual respect and trust. You never know who someone knows. I mean, I, I've been flabbergasted. <laughs> You know, the six degrees of separation is the idea that all people are six or fewer social connections away from each other. As a result, a chain of friend of a friend statements can be made to connect any two people in a maximum of six steps. So that is like the whole idea behind LinkedIn. And I've basically seen that this is absolutely true. Absolutely, be fearless in asking, you know, your friends and colleagues and even family members because you just never, never, ever know. The rise of technology and social media has also influenced the practice of mentorship with online mentorship programs and virtual mentoring relationships becoming increasingly popular. Digital platforms provide access to a global network of mentors and mentees, allowing for greater flexibility in mentorship. Virtual mentorships offers unique opportunities to connect with mentors who may be geographically distant, but share common interests and goals and want help. Leaving the world better than we found it involves not only building ourselves up and being successful, but also helping as many people as we can along the way. The latter are legacy shaping actions that go a long way to making the world a better place. All the things we mentioned can also be leveraged for you as the mentor. So here are three additional organizations that you can join to provide mentorship. Mentor, the National Mentoring Partnership. This organization works to expand the quality and quantity of mentoring relationships for young people across the country. The Boys and Girls Club of America. Many local chapters of this organization offer mentoring programs for youth in their communities. And lastly, Junior Achievement. This organization provides volunteer opportunities for individuals to mentor students in financial literacy, work readiness, and entrepreneurship. And also win a fourth one, SCORE. SCORE is an organization that offers mentoring opportunities for small business owners and entrepreneurs that are looking for guidance and support. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Do This First. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all 114 podcast episodes and counting on my blog, Do This First.life. You can also sign up for my new weekly newsletter, which will help you get your week started on a positive note. And I'll also provide updates on that newsletter for when coaching opens up again, books, merch, and my public speaking engagements as they become available. Tomorrow, we'll continue with our series, Leaving It Better Than You Found It, with the podcast episode, Just Be Nice. Till tomorrow. Moving past the rain, moving past the pain. Champion in you